So, phrases are everything. Um, the aroha vroha, as I have said many times, is uh, it, it is just a straightforward, it is just a skeleton. Uh, and it is yaman aroha vroha is just straightforward, but we never sing yaman like that. Um, it is always misleading. The aroha avroha uh, is quite misleading because that is never the path of the raga. The paths are always more complex. So, this really takes us to the uh, idea of the chalan, chalan of the raga that is. Chalan of Raga. Chalan of a Raga. What is Chalan? Chalan is really uh, the walk, the gait, the movement, how the Raga moves. So, and that really incorporates many of all these aspects that we have um, gone through. Hmm? These aspects of vadi samvadi, phrasing, alpatva, bahutva, ornament, prakriti, everything, all of these come into come to form the unique character of a raga, the unique way it moves, which is called the chalan. Chalna in Hindi means to walk. So, um, I will um, demonstrate how you know these uh, various aspects make a difference to the meaning and how you know, finally what we mean by chalan. Now, I will sing this same set of phrases first without any ornament or any feature. I will just of course use some pauses, but besides that there will be nothing else. And then I will sing it with ornament and then finally with other considerations which you see chalan also incorporates the element of laya, right, of, of rhythm, of rhythm not in the sense of foot tapping rhythm, but the, the way the, the phrases flow, that is what uh, is um, integral, is central to the idea of chalan. Mm. Okay, first I am going to sing without any ornament, nothing, but with some pauses. So, this does not give any sense of Yaman. Now I am going to introduce just the ornaments. It is not yet fully the chalan of the rag, but just the ornament, the gavakas. Sing this with the chalan of Yaman. So, because a raga is so much more than its scale, much more than can really be uh, described in words as I am trying to do. So, because this thing, because this, uh, because of this uh, truth that raga, of course, every raga is associated with a scale mostly, uh, almost every raga can be associated with a, you know, roughly a sketchable scale. Um, but still, it is much more than that scale. So, we have this uh, phenomenon that the same scale may be associated with more than one raga. 
or you may say that more than one raga may, be, may share the same skill. What really lies at the heart of uh, the differences between these ragas that share the same scale may be slightly different. In some, uh, the prakriti may be different, you know, the, 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 the nature of the raga may be different and that, uh, that, that is one of the important reasons for the difference. In some, the kind of ornament that may be different. In some, the vadi samvadi, right? The notes that have to be highlighted. That uh, would be the fundamental reason for the difference. So I will demonstrate uh, two ragas, Kuryadana Shri and Gauri. They have exactly the same scale. Um, they, they are, um, Sarigama. Padani sani dhapamagadisa. This is the scale. We have Komal Rishabh and Komal Devat and uh, Tibra Madhyam. The rest are Shuddha. So, Ga and Ni are Shuddha Swaras. Ri and Da are Komal and Ma is Tibra. So, this is the scale. Now, what uh, happens in Puriya Dhanashri is it is it's full of languorous means. Sa Marega. This is the heart of Puriya Dhanashri. Sa Nirega. You can see the long movement. Now, as different from this, Gauri has much sharper movements. That's it. That's it. Dadi sani ni Dadi re ga Not Ni re ga This is Puriya Dhanashri Dadi re ga ga Re ga ma pa da pa Ma da pa Ma pa ga ma so we don't have a very long uh, means. Mean is there. Without mean there is no kayal or drupad. But we don't have very long loops in Gauri. Regadesa. So this is called maybe Kharasur, you know, the Swaras are more uh, just standing. Gadesa Nisare Nisani the Nisani. So, in fact, there is another raga, the rag Basant, which also has the same scale. Uh, there is, in addition, there is another. The Shuddha Madhyam is also used, but that is used in a separate phrase almost, which adds a lovely colour. But uh, the basic scale is the same. But, you know, Basant is Uttarang Pradhan. It's, it remains in the upper regions. Now, this, these notes are there in Gauri and Puriya Dhanishri. Oh, we would never sing this. 
रे सनी धनी सनी मग दिस इज बसन मधरे सनी द प मग मग मैट फ्रेस दैट ऑर्नमेंट दैट झटका राइट नी मग another very uh, famous uh, you know such uh, a pair which you know they share the same scale but they are different because of the vadi and samvadi that is the um, that is uh, marwa and puriya and also sohani um both of them have the scale um of uh, komal rishab and uh, tibra madhyam and the rest are shuddha so, and there is no pancham sa a re ga ma da ni sa ni da ma ga re sa this is the bass skeleton now how do you in marwa dha ma ga re so here the re is very important so is dha re ni da da re sa ni da sa ni re re ga ma da sa ni re ni da da ma ga re ga ma da ma re ga re da re sa puriya uh, has a fair is a very much diminished rishab um, and the ga and ni are highlighted ga re sa ni sa re sa ni da ni 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 ma da sa ni da ni re ga ma da ga ma ga ma ga ni re sa so the re da are considerably uh, diminished their presence ga re sa ni da ni ni re ga ma da ni ma da ga ma ga ma ni ma da ga ma ga ni ma ga ma ga ni re sa so now in between marwa and puriya of course the most important thing is when we speak about it is that the vadi and samvadi are different so marwa has ri and dha um as vadi and samvadi whereas uh, puriya has ga and ni as vadi samvadi but just that is not you know that doesn't really give you an idea of how the raga goes so how how is how are the notes to be highlighted how is the vaditva going to be expressed hmm? so what kind of prominence what are the phrases and the relative strengths of the swaras now these are the things that cannot be um, described so now i have really um, gone over the various aspects of the grammar of ragas the raga lakshana as it is called categories that we use to uh, describe the ragas grammar and identity but ultimately it all falls short no amount of such description uh, can really convey uh, the raga's essence this is something that can only happen by uh, training under a good teacher good guru and also listening to good uh, performances of the raga we will uh, take a listen to a very sh- uh, short performance of rag marwa
Ah! <laughs> 